Hey, it's me, your boy Blue Gatsuga, and today I'll be going over my Yu-Gi-Oh! Villain tier list. I know I'm very late on this trend, but I figured why not. I get to go over some of my favorite and very least favorite Yu-Gi-Oh! Villains throughout the entire series. Okay, first we got Supreme King, King Jaden. He was pretty alright. He wasn't great, he wasn't bad, he was just alright to me. Carly, almost the same thing. I would say she's interesting. She was a good slash interesting character, and I liked her character arc. I just didn't like what they did with her during season 2 and 3 of Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds. Those seasons sucked, in my opinion. The best part about that season, or those seasons, were the filler episodes. And that's a bad thing. This guy, uninteresting. He wasn't a terrible villain, but he wasn't interesting in any way, shape, or form. He was just uninteresting. I, he was a meh villain. He didn't do much, and his motivation didn't make much sense to me. It really didn't. This guy, uninteresting. He did, he was one of the seven Shadow Riders, and his duel with Jaden was incredibly boring. So I'm just going to put him in un uninteresting. <clears throat> Adrian Gecko, he was a great and interesting character. Also, I wish we were, we would get more Cloudy in support. This guy, I don't know too much about him because I don't remember much from the Yu-Gi-Oh movie, so I'll just I'll just place him in uninteresting. Aporia, he's an all right villain, so I'd say he was meh. Same with Night Shroud. Banning Keith. The most American villain we've gotten in Yu-Gi-Oh! so far. I'm not sure whether to say he's good and interesting. I'll just say he's meh. Because we haven't seen much we haven't seen much from him after he was brainwashed by I think I think Merrick. Yeah. We haven't seen much of him since then. Yeah, this chick, super hated. Super hated. Big five, uninteresting for me. Bowman. In my opinion, I really don't like this character. I would have liked this character more if they didn't shaft Haru for him. In my opinion, Haru should have been the final like the final boss of that arc rather than Bowman, because Bowman is way too uninteresting, plus all signs pointed to Haru. You could argue they were trying to subvert expectation, but it wasn't it wasn't the time for it. They should have made Haru they should have, you know, replaced Bowman with Haru as the end, you know, as basically as the end game of that arc. And then when you had this guy, the ruler of the Dark World, he was all right, but also uninteresting. Camula, I say she's meh. The only reason I'd say she's uninterest, I wouldn't say she's uninteresting, is because she's a vampire, like an actual legit vampire. And that actually opens up a lot of lore into the world of Yu-Gi-Oh! GX. Plus, I like the vampire archetype. Dark Jesse. Kind of, eh. He didn't do much, but at the same time, it was a cool concept. Rex Goodwin. Uninteresting. I did, I did not like him as a villain. Especially when, they sprung, especially when that twist was sprung up on me, I just was like, I... I didn't really care. Number 96, I almost said 69. It was a great villain in my opinion. I mean a good and interesting one. I especially liked his I especially liked most of his duels and his relationship with with Astral. Night like not Night Shroud, Darkness, which also is kinda Night Shroud. Darkness was an alright villain. I do like the lore revolving around him, so that's why I'd say that's why I'd put him here. Darts, here's an here's an all right villain too. Devac, uninteresting. Besides his synchro monster, yeah, just nothing about this guy was interesting. This guy, Deva, he's a good villain. Doctor Faker, I do not like him. His motivation makes no sense. And he's just a very boring character in my opinion. Don Zalug, I liked his I liked his duel with Chaz. 
Unfortunately, we don't get to see the Dark Scorpions do anything else in GX. I would have loved to see Chaz use the Dark Scorpion in later duels, but he doesn't. This guy, yeah, he's just boring. Alito, I like his personality. I like characters like him, and I also like how, yeah, I also like how he was very honorable in the anime, and I also like battling boxers. And fire is one of my favorite attributes in Yu-Gi-Oh. Leo Akaba, he's just very stupid. Incredibly stupid. His plan had so many holes in it, I don't I don't know why he thought it was a great idea to let Yuri collect all of the girls. I mean, luckily Yuri didn't card any of them. I'm not sure what he would have done if that happened. Lot Lawton same. I would put him in uninteresting or alright. But yeah. Actually no, because there's two different Basically, his story arc is kind of like a telltale game. In the dubbed, he just quit. Like, he just quits the duel and decides to run away. Because in the sub, there was, you know, the rest of the duel was too edgy for four kids. So we got two alternate, so we got two alternate endings between him and Callan's duel. But going off of the sub, I would, I would say he's alright. This guy, uninteresting. He, he doesn't feel like an actual character. Especially when you find out that the name and alias he went by was just Shark's alternate name. He didn't do much throughout this show, and Star Seraphs are easily one of the most forgettable archetypes in the game. You had Griger, Dark Griger, he was alright. Zork, I really like Bakura. I liked Yami Bakura a lot. Ryo, she is alright. Misty, same. Shark, he's a good character in my opinion. Noah, I did not like the arc revolving around Noah, Noah or the Big Five because that went on for way too long in my opinion and after Noah decided to cheat when dueling against Kaiba and Yugi, I thought, yeah. It made me respect his character a little bit less. But after what he did at the end, it was a little bit sad. But then we actually got to continue to like the arc that a lot of people cared about. Panic. No one cares about him. Like, he literally died in the dub and no one cares. Also, that was weird. Like, in the dub, he was killed off. But in the sub, he wasn't. Viper, sad backstory. Then Venoms are Venoms are somewhat interesting. Queen. I'm going to treat Queen as herself as well as all the chess pieces. She, they were not well written. They were just huge letdowns. Because Reigns has, Reigns has a lot of problems. And it took so much hype and then decided to just flush it down the toilet. Especially Queen, she's very boring. She has a terrible personality, but she's a villain, so what, so what should we expect? Plus, she's in charge of a large, large corporation, so in a sense, she's kind of like the CEO of YouTube. I'm not going to say her name, because I don't want this video to just disappear. Or somehow get taken down. But anyways... I forgot where I was. All right, she nailed the chess pieces. They were hyped up for so long, and only for it to lead to nothing. So I would say her and the chess piece, in my opinion, are terrible. They're terribly written, and they're just wasted potential. Raphael, he was all right in my opinion. Roman, a bit un uninteresting. Sartorius, he's all right. Sergey, he's also alright. I hope we get those new Earthbound Immortals from the Arc 5 anime. Tanya, yeah, yeah, I, I actually don't know what to say about this. I don't know what to say about her character except 
There was just a lot of innuendos. Just a lot. This guy, his character went nowhere. And he was just boring. Titan, I wish he came back. But after his duel with Alexis, he hasn't come he hasn't ever come back. Ventrix, favorite villain in Zaxel. I don't care what anyone says, he's the best villain in Zaxel. Why? Because his personality is pretty interesting and I also like how much of a troll he is. Then I also like the fact that he's some that he's somehow a very intimidating character despite taking on the appearance of a child. And it's pretty clear that he isn't a child. And then we have Fallon. Oh yeah, then I also really like Heraldic Beasts. We have Fallon. Fallon. He's alright. And then next we have Vet Vector. Uh, his backstory is really sad. That's the only reason why he's all the way up here. Otherwise, I would have just said he's all right. Wendy, uninteresting. And I'm about to mention why as soon as we get to a later character. Marek. was not that much a fan of Marek, period. He's just overrated in my opinion. Um, Sayer. Also, eh, he's alright. I wish we got to see more of him. Yubel, same thing. And then we have Yuri. Yuri's probably like my second favorite villain in all of Yu-Gi-Oh, if not my favorite. He and Vetrix. I'm just saying, if Haru was actually built up to be a good character and wasn't shafted for Bowman... I probably would have put Har Haru up here with these three. But nope. We, we can't have that, can we? This guy, he's also darkness, so... Yeah, he's also darkness. What? Yeah. I mean, clear, like his clear deck was pretty interesting, if anything. Poria, not Poria. Zone, uninteresting villain. Not to mention it was such a letdown to find out that he wasn't really Yusei, but just some random guy from the future. Ideally, as their plotline is just terrible. Zark, he's alright. He wasn't flushed out, but understandably so. Kalen, alright. Don Thousand, oh yeah, and Don Thousand's on this list twice, I think. He's interesting. Like, he was a good and really interesting character. It was a Bora, same thing as the Big Five. Quattro. I really like his character progression, plus... Yeah, I really like his character, and he's, ironically, the most interesting out of all of his siblings. Next, we have Roger, horribly written. Pegasus, he's alright. Siegfried, I guess he's alright too. Yami Bakura, yeah I really like Yami Bakura. Um, Garag, he's alright. Same with Mizar, Mizar, Mizal, I don't know how to pronounce his name. And Lightning, and here is what I was talking about. Lightning and Windy are practically the same character because Lightning literally programmed Windy to be exactly like him. I'll put him up here because he's arguably one of my most detestable characters on this list. Because I hate this character so much. His, he's literally the embodiment of a Karen in the world of Reigns. Like, he snitches really hard. He's constantly just mocking I for no reason. And he commenced his entire plan to eradicate humans based off of his based off of his inferiority complex. Like he was hyped up to be an interesting character. A smart and interesting character with uh interesting goal. But it just seems like, oh, he's just jealous, so he decides to literally ruin everything. Like I even saw a meme one time on Facebook 
saying local man ruins everything and his picture was on it and that was the most that pretty much just sums up his entire character this man just ruins everything like he's the reason why revolver's father father reason why revolver's father is in a coma and he's also the reason revolver's father died because why not and he also kind of just caused everything he's kind of the reason why revolver is the way he is like i just hate this character so much he's kind of like madara where it's like oh yeah i i saved you from being crushed by rocks obito but oh wait that was part of my plan and ren dying too also part of my plan because why i'm that sick of a person or yeah i could totally plan for all of that that's kind of how lightning is he did all of this why and his motivation for doing it his motivation is literally just being an asshole that's his entire motivation plus because he programmed wendy wendy is not an actual character and then we have weevil He's pretty self-explanatory. The rest are kind of redundant because this guy was controlled by the light just like Sartorius. This guy was just a henchman of darkness. And all these three are just Saporia. <sighs> That's all I have for this list. It's me, your boy, Blue Gatsuga, and I'm out.